Taiho represented the peak in Japanese aircraft carrier design of World War II. Construction was approved in 1939 in the 4th Naval Supplementary Program. Plans were made for multiple of this class ships but in the end only one would be constructed and commissioned. Her design was a heavily modified Shokaku class carrier, and featured an armored flight deck that could withstand 1,000-pound bombs in an armored belt and for this, she sacrificed a squadron of aircraft. Hangar space was for around 65 aircraft. Her hangars were enclosed, she had two of these as well as two elevators. A newly designed island, first featured on the higher design was placed on this vessel. Taiho means Great Phoenix in English. The weight of her armor belt was so high, that made the ship sit quite low, as her lower hangar line was just above the water line. This factor would haunt her later on. Whilst her bomb and torpedo magazines were protected by armor, the fuel tanks for her aircraft weren't well protected and this design flaw later destroyed her. The flight deck was covered with latex instead of wood as protection from fire. She was supposed to have catapults on the deck but weren't placed on. For defense, various radar sets were placed as well as 12 3.9-inch guns, three on each side and a total of 51 Type 96 25mm anti-aircraft guns. She was laid down in July 1941 and was commissioned in 1944. But by mid-1944, Japan faced of an army of carriers from the American side. And three months after commissioning, at the Battle of the Philippine Sea, Taiho would launch her aircraft as part of the second wave but was attacked by the USS Albacore. The submarine locked six torpedoes. One of the pilots saw the torpedoes and crashed into the sea, and the torpedo hit his airplane instead of the carrier. Four other torpedoes missed but one hit her on the starboard side just forward of the island. She actually survived the torpedo hit, her forward elevator jammed but was covered so the remaining aircraft launched, but down below, fuel lines cracked. Two more waves of aircraft were later launched. Fumes were accumulating in the forward elevator pit, and as this was evaporating, it would make the upper and lower hangar decks as giant bombs. The damage control team instead of covering the gasoline with foam, they decided to ventilate the hangar decks but that was limited because of the enclosed hangars. Chief of the team ordered the fatal mistake. He ordered the ventilation systems to full and every door was open to put those fumes out of the ship but this just distributed the fumes across the ship. And at about 2.30 in the afternoon, a spark caused an explosion. The flight deck was in fire and tearly. Destroyers picked up survivors and some time later another massive explosion happened. She was sunk and took 650 sailors down with her.